Sheep's in the meadow, cows in the corn. Now is the time for a child to be born. Laugh at the moon and he'll cry for the sun. And if it's a boy, he'll carry a gun. Sang the crow on the cradle. And if it should be that this baby's a girl, never you mind if her hair doesn't curl. It rings on her finger, bells on. And a bomber above her, wherever she goes, sang the blow on the cradle. The crow on the cradle, black and the white, somebody's baby. Somebody's baby is not coming back. Sang the crow on the cradle. All right, Mr. Echo, you may begin. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, Commonwealth calls its first witness Richard Moravec, Captain of Security at General Electric. How long have you been at security at GE? 22 years. And what building are you assigned to? Building 9, Reentry Division, King of Prussia. Directing your attention to September 9, 1980, do you recall at 6.30 a.m. or thereabouts what, if anything unusual, happened? Uh, yes, a man dressed as a priest entered the building, and a, a woman accompanied him. 
Are either of those two in the courtroom today? Yes, they are. The two that are standing, can you identify them? Father Cabot, Montgomery's sister. Then what happened, if anything? Well, Father Cabot grabbed me by my arms and pinned me against the wall when I picked up the phone. Miss Montgomery tried to get the phone off me and uh, held her hand on the receiver so I couldn't make my phone call. Who are you attempting to call? My superior, Mr. Bauman. Okay. Now, would you describe to the jury exactly how you were held? <clears throat> well, my desk was here and the phone was here. I picked up the phone with my left hand. Father Cabot had his hands on my upper arms and I was against the wall this way. Mm -hmm. What did Sister Ann Montgomery do? Uh, well, she kept trying to get the phone away from me. She held her hand down on the receiver so the phone call wouldn't go through. She kept saying, don't call, don't call. Okay. Then describe what you observed after that. Well, at the time I was being held, six other people entered the building. They went into the inner doors in single file. Did you say anything to these people? Yes. I told them they were unauthorized not to enter the building, that it was private property. And in response to what you said to them, did they do anything? No. They just kept on walking through the doors. After that, I opened the double doors of the high bay area. I heard this loud clanging, like uh, metal beating against metal. Uh, to me, it sounded like 50-gallon drums being beaten on. Did you go to where you heard the noise? As we got closer to room 1650, the noise got louder. Okay. Is that the non-destructive test room? That's non-destructive test room, yes. I saw these people, a bunch of people with hammers beating on the metal there. And uh... Uh, Describe what you observed. Well, to me, it looked like this bunch of crazy people beating on metal in this room. Uh, I particularly noticed that young lady there who had a hammer. With both hands, she was really beating on this metal structure. Molly Rush? Yes. 